Good morning, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is the captain speaking by the name of Trucker Rudy. <laughs> funny the way that came out <laughs> yeah anyways we are in the process of leaving uh, Tomaha Wisconsin that's right that's right we're gonna get back on the interstate up here and then uh, we'll put the hammer down see if we can get past uh, Cleveland, Ohio for tonight. That is my goal for today. Now we will see if we can accomplish that, but uh, hey, we gotta try something. And uh, I already looked it up there on the internet and uh, looked the address up, I meant to say, where I deliver to. And it is the exact same place that I've been a couple of times already, so I know I can stay the night over there. Yeah, so... Turn let's get our way to the interstate. GPS is screaming at me turning left, but hey, that's not what I want to do. I want to go over here and turn onto this interstate up here. Yeah, it's a gorgeous morning out here today. As you guys know, I'm seven days behind, so some of you uh, looking at my videos, uh, you might say, well, it ain't sunshine up here today, and I'm very close to where you at. Well, that's because I'm seven days behind. <laughs> and I do that for numerous reasons. For those of you that are subscribed for, to me uh, for a good while, you probably know all the reasons already, but some of you newcomers probably don't know. But uh, I do drive all over the United States and Canada. Oh, I shouldn't say all over the United States, but a lot of areas I go into in the United States. Only place I haven't been in really with the truck is California. Sorry, there has been a few states I haven't really been into, but... Uh, for the most part, I've been in a lot of states already. And, uh, anyways, back onto track, what I was gonna talk about is, uh, I also drive up in Canada a lot, and I only have a Wi-Fi system in my truck for the United States through Sprint. And sometimes it can be a little bit of a hassle getting internet, you know, especially up in Canada, so, uh, not only that, sometimes you got a little bit of a tight load or whatever, you got to hurry up and go. Well, then, uh, then I don't have time to put the video together for you guys right away. And, uh, and uh, then you wouldn't have a video up the next morning, right? So that would kind of suck. So decided, well, whatever, we'll just... Uh, have them seven days behind and that way uh, it gives me a chance to work on the videos put them together really nicely for you and also gives me a chance to upload them and, uh, yeah anyways let's get on down the road and uh, let's have ourselves a fantastic day thanks for joining the captain seat today you're sitting right here with me today thank you we appreciate it and that's right along with us and see out of the window what I see no matter what it is if it's good, bad, funny, indifference doesn't matter 
hopefully it will be interesting to you alrighty ladies and gentlemen we got a request the other day to show when we fuel up so here we go I got these uh, fuel caps over here that are locked so that way nobody can steal my fuel but anyways we gotta open them up with this little key like that and once that's happened then I can turn them right but anyways we'll show you guys a little bit when we fuel up all right we use these cards we have a uh, Com data card and we have a uh, pilot flying J rewards card so we're going to go ahead and enter that into our slots over here I can't hold it and show you at the same time but uh, we are going to put the information in here that we need and this pilot card will actually uh, allow me to get free showers and if we fuel up more than 500 gallons a day we get uh, a free shower every single day so that's fantastic for us drivers out here right at least I think so but anyways let's get some fuel gotta uh, enter all my info here let me see they ask for all kinds of stuff this is if I want def yeah gotta enter all my hub reading I just want a number in there so I just put a number in there yeah let's see at least it's not really windy out here today so that way i can uh, do this with no problem you know but we are sort of starting to run low on fuel it's asking me if i want any additional items i don't want anything additional like oil or a bottle def or anything like that so yeah when finished fueling please come inside to complete your transaction all right all right okay so let's see here in a minute Okay, that says please remove nozzle to fuel. All right, we already opened her up here, so let's see. We can put that right there. And grab that nozzle and fuel up. There we go. There she goes. Drop my key. All right, we'll go to the other side and uh, open that up. We'll fill that up and we'll be right back. Alrighty, here we are back on the interstate. That's right. We fueled the truck up and now we are good to go again. Got some go-go juice. That's right. Now we can uh, put the hammer down and try and get to Chicago. The wind has picked up a little bit though here in the last little bit, but uh, other than that, everything is good. Showed you guys a little bit on how we fuel up. Got a request of that the other day. And I was going to show that last uh, trip already, and then uh, it was dark when I fueled up there after I gotten that request. So uh, here we are. We have shown you guys that again a little bit. Hopefully that's what you wanted. Let's hope so. But anyways, let's get on down the road here and through Chicago. And I mean it's uh, 11:36 right now. So we are uh, doing good time up here. Still need to take my half an hour break yet, but I figured well. It's not quite at my three hours drive yet, so uh, I figured I'll, I'll go through Chicago and then maybe I'll do my half an hour on the other side of Chicago. That way uh, I don't need to take two half an hour breaks, you know. It's my plan anyways. Keep her steady today. Hey, right, here we are. You can see we are cruising along here and it's pretty quiet. It's exactly what I was hoping for. Look at this big uh, Volvo dealer here to the right. Look at all the amount of trucks they got sitting in here. Man, that is a lot of trucks. I don't know, they must be buying up a lot of trucks. I don't think those are all brand new trucks though. Yeah, that one's got a moose bumper on, there's a few of them that got bumpers on. They can't all be new trucks, that's for sure. But yeah, that's a Volvo dealer up there right here on uh, 294 that's right this is the way I love going to uh, Chicago area because uh, 
no traffic at all pretty much a few cars here and there a few trucks here and there and that's it this nice quiet day to be running through here perfect timing I think I'm pretty happy with this yep I was just uh, talking to the wife there a little bit earlier and looks like they got a blizzard up there in Manitoba right now I remember this is seven days ago so uh, yeah today is February 7th that's right and it looks like they have already closed a few highways looks like highway uh, 75 from uh, Winnipeg to the border is shut down and the usual one and also the other usual one is from Portage uh, Port La, Portage La Prairie Manitoba to Winnipeg that stretch is a bad stretch to begin with for some odd reason the wind comes across that uh, that highway one right there really badly you know anytime it's a little windy and blowing snow that's a bad stretch of highway that snow really blows across the highway there so anyways they got a blizzard up there and we got it beautiful up here nice dry roads not really sunny but uh, it's not really that thick clouds either you know just an all-around beautiful day to be out there I know some people that are going to want to work today uh, and leaving with trucks I got a friend that was going to leave tonight but uh, he ain't going to be leaving tonight if the roads are closed so that's not going to happen We are the lucky ones today. Who knows about tomorrow, but today we are the lucky ones. That's right. So whatever. We're just going to continue cruising along here and enjoying the day. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to make us a pit stop in here. Yeah. It looks like a fairly big rest area up here, so... We have to have our half an hour break, so uh, I decided, you know what? Let's just go take it right in here. I think I can go right in between those two trucks in there. And you know, we'll park up there. Just trying to see what those guys are doing up there. Or that one guy is doing something on a structure or something other than that. Proceed to the highlighted now. Yeah, that's how we'll look and see if we can get right in between here. Not sure what he's trying to do. He's right underneath his trailer. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to drive over him, so I'm just going to take a real slow. Oh, he's got a flat tire. Oh my. That can't be good. Oh well, it happens. Maybe he's going to have to get a tire guy out here get his tire fixed but anyways we're gonna go inside so we'll be right back all right ladies and gentlemen we are still cruising along the highway here we had ourselves that little pit stop there earlier and uh, now it appears like the Sun is starting to disappear on me yeah look at this this rest area up here has been shut down that kind of sucks that makes it less places for us to stop. Like if somebody were to uh, think they could, they could exactly make it up to here with their hours, they'd be screwed. They couldn't get here. They couldn't park here for the night, you know? But anyways, uh, I am feeling a little tired today, so I don't think I'm going to be driving as late tonight as I, I was thinking of doing. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the last rest area just before uh, Cleveland. I want to see if I can park uh, in there. See if I can uh, find me a parking spot in there. And if I can, I think I'm just going to call it a night over there. And I was looking at it and I got uh, 650 miles to go down tomorrow. So that I could still do legally within two and, uh, 11 hours. So I'm thinking that's what I'm going to do. 
instead of having a late night again tonight, come on Shredder, find me a parking spot a little earlier tonight and at least we'll be okay with parking, I think. That's the way I'm going to do it. Not 100% sure on that yet, but uh, that's kind of where I'm leaning towards. But then again, you never know. Once I get down there, I might feel good again and might have a little extra energy and I might just go through Cle Cleveland. You never know. But anyways, we'll uh, figure that out once we get there, I suppose. But Because tomorrow night I can go to my delivery place. Man! Uh, then I don't have to worry about... Uh, Finding me a parking parking for the night, right? So uh, tomorrow it doesn't matter if I drive a little later. I'm gonna be all right still, you know. And uh, today it's gonna be the matter, you know. Like if if I drive late, then I might not find a parking spot. And that would suck. So I don't really want to risk that too much, but. I kind of want to get through Cleveland though, that's kind of the thing, I would really like to get to Cleveland tonight, that way I don't have to go there tomorrow morning. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Anyways, it's been a good day. We have hit... Uh, 1600 subscribers at least that's what it was looking like earlier that's fantastic I love it appreciate you guys sharing my videos that helps me out a lot because that's uh, a big way of how people find out about my uh, channel is if you share it on your uh, Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus, whatever, you know, whatever media sites you have and that's where your friends are on and if you share it up there, your friends might find me interesting and they might like watching me, so yeah, I appreciate it, you guys share those videos, you know, and I have sent out a whole bunch of letters with cards, so uh, I've drawn quite a, a few cards in each envelope. So you can hand some of them out in, in your area so that would be very much appreciated get the word out about my channel right yeah anyways let's continue on cruising along and uh, see if we'll see anything exciting from here to wherever we end up for tonight
for today. That's right, we had a good day worth of driving and we did manage to get to where we wanted to. Well, I didn't quite go all the way to the TA truck stop like I had originally planned, but uh, the very next best thing that's available, and that is, I don't know how good you're gonna be able to see it, but uh, that is actually a rest area, yeah. Very first rest area up here in, uh, well, I almost said in Ohio, but not it's not that way. And uh, it is the very first rest area past Cleveland, Ohio. Yeah, here on uh, I-90. So uh, we managed to get us a parking spot in here. So we are good to go. Put my yesterday's video already together. So all that's left to do is today's video, which I think I'm going to put together tomorrow night. Yeah. So, uh, I don't really have anything else. Hope you enjoyed that little uh, run through Cleveland there. I'm gonna put some background music into it. Well, I guess you listened to it already if you got up to here. So, uh, you already listened to it. I hope you enjoyed that little clip there going through uh, Cleveland there for a little stretch there and, uh, you know, at night time. So, uh, anyways, that's pretty much it. I hope you will uh, check out some of the links that I got down there in my description. I've been uh, updating those constantly. I've been uh, updating a lot of stuff down there in the description box. So, uh, hey, do me a favor, go check that out. And if you uh, liked anything in particular about today's show, or if you just have something to say, just leave it down there in the comment section. There's a comment section, say hello or good morning or a good day or something whatever it is for you you know or hey you know if you have a bad day say well it's a bad day for me today but hey whatever it is whatever is on your mind leave me a comment that would be fantastic and if you would be so kind to hit that share button down there below and uh, share this video so uh, all your friends and family will also get to see it that helps me out so uh Give me a big thumbs up and we'll see you again tomorrow. It's time to get going. It's time to move on. Put this behind me.